on the last episode of Amnesia, a machine for pigs. This guy making passionate, or this girl making passionate love to her duck. And welcome back, guys. She's still going at it with her duck. So, in the last episode, we walked around and did some stuff, and my game almost crashed right there. Lee, 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 lee. Fucking. Sorry, you guys, did you see that? Oh my god, is it happening? Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, well. Let's just keep. Oh my god, that vertical thing is gonna drive me fucking crazy! Should have fucking. <laughs> Oh my god, it's still there. I should have done it before I started recording. What am I doing? I'm looking for my children. Through locked doors. Play! Oh. Oh? It's a telephone! Hello? Hello? Telephone is surprised. Okay. So, there's guns now. I'm gonna pick up fucking guns and fucking shoot people with them. <laughs> November 7th, I think that's a 7, or upside down, fucking 2, 1898. The bank is refusing credit, the ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep. Once the children and servants are safely asleep, when they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune, that my investment in the latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and mills? But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle! Okay, uh... So, I'm kind of angry that I can't pick up everything. Because, yeah. Uh. Um. So, what do I... Dude, all these doors are locked. Buggy vertical sink. God, it's driving me nuts. I'm so sorry, guys. I am a clever bean. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, you can see it before you... Hey, yeah! Hi. Close that shit up. Hello, kids. How are you? What is this? Okay. So... I can see into the paintings and shit like that. What the fuck is that noise? There's a pig head where there wasn't- Oh! Clockwork and the soul. Replacement is dissatisfactory, so like a pump. Better the intestinal canal, like a tapeworm, already hosting intrusion and the breed. Brass better than copper, more resistant. Filament sewn to bone hold. Marrow pipe removal with needle potential. Composite replacement straightforward. Will respond to electromagnetic, electromagnetic inducement to increase yield rate. Serum provides accelerated resetting, resulting in naturalized movement with two to, within two to three days. Subjects? Still requires severing of frontal lobes to reduce emotional goddamn stress upon reactivation. Damn it, damn it, damn this wretched soul. It only gets what walk, walk. You okay? So there's like this fucking weird ass ambience that. Okay, well, it's gone now. 
So let me just point out that they reuse the fucking drawings that they used in goddamn Justine, and that pisses me off. Like, fuck you. Yay! So... This dawning epoch, this age of reason, an empire grown fat. What? Okay. So I guess I used to... Ooh, is this my wife? Damn, look at that body. Um, so I guess I used to, like, watch people and, like, draw them. Oh. I don't know. I keep fucking thinking this is amnesia. So I keep, like, turning off and on my lantern. <laughs> Boobing intensifies! Oh my god. Thank you, amnesia. That was the perfect goddamn time. Okay, so this Oh. In Lily's honor, a banquet. Who the fuck is Lily? Lily Be Lilibeth, that's dumb. Lily Mandis, in Tre Be here on the 26th of September, 1890. The angels weep you to the teeth. Ew, your teeth sold for, what? That's uncalled for. Can I go back? No, okay. We got a hallway here, bitches. To run. Oh. 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 Am I still God. Am I still looking for my children? Hello lamp. Oh! Fucking shitty glass texture. Edwin and Enoch's diary, October 3rd, 1899. Daddy says we're not allowed to play with the animals anymore. We were playing hide and seek it with Cook, and he came and shouted at us, just as we were going to hide behind Mr. Grumpy Teddy. Cook says it's because of the guns in there, but he always lets us polish them, so it can't be that. Anyway, that room is haunted. If you sneak around there at night, you can hear the ghosts in the walls behind the cases. They are often angry, or that's how it sounds. We think that's why you can't hear them rattling their chains, slamming doors, and things like that. We don't like it in there anyway. And stay the fuck out of there. So, I just want to say that, like, following my children or, like, trying to find them is really, like, ruining my immersion. Okay. This way, Papa. Come and see. Okay. Here I come. Oh, my God. Silence. Oh, goddammit. The weeping room where where once we sat to weep Lily's passing, under weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald, where once you watched her bathe, that the children must have discovered these secret places and taken refuge there. Grand Hall, the voice on the telephone, he speaks as if he knows me, and indeed I seem to remember him. Like a twin pulled away from the other at birth, I feel we are entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man grasping for the surface within my own house. Beneath me, I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark. If only I can find the entrances. I need to pay more attention to the little fucking notes in the bottom of the corner. Daddy. Shut up! Jesus, kid. Ruining my goddamn... Is this the same amnesia piano? Okay, good, I can't open it. I was about to flip my shit! Okay, so they want me to go there. I'm gonna go over here because fuck my kids. So this looks there's a fire. Uh. I must say, my dear man, you, you look awful. Yes, I I seem to have picked up something rather nasty in Mexico. I do understand what you've been through. Unless a man would have crumbled, yet you have made all of this. Your great factory, your charity. <gasps> it is a wonder for one man. Oh, oh, yes. But first, a drink. What a koala. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah! Let me. Let me. 
would have been so much scarier if they would have like made the pool balls like roll. Dude, that's pretty cool. Fucking pool ball physics are pretty fucking hard to do and they did it pretty well, so props to you motherfuckers. Can I pick oh, damn it. Hey, nope. So there's a door over right there, and then... Shut up! Visible wind. December 20th, 1899. I'm to have a visitor, the distinguished professor- Ah! He has come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club. But I am not stupid! He is here to spy for them when they stopped the Ripper. The Ripper or the Kipper? The Kipper! guess. He was often called to pont blah, 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 upon macerations of missing organs. For now he comes to me, to doff and wail, and my dear sir, and but you must still grieve, and perhaps just a quick look at your goddamn engines of triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, nothing of sacrifice, but to refuse. That would simply puke, poke the hornet's nests. Invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain the buffoon and submit to his intrusion. Perhaps I should show him the tripery. See whether her stomach, so trained by rummaging in the innards of clumsily visits, is strong enough to stare in the real engines of this golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack, or his sons at least. We have stronger locks in the windows now, and we bring their toys to them. Wah, wah. Oh, the bathroom. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Oh, bears and bathtubs. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, however did you get to the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Elizabeth, my father's house has so many rooms. And as for mine, well, it also has secret chambers. So, I'm taking that fucking... Oh! Outside! Um, so Lilith is my wife, I guess. Fuck you, vertical sink. Dude, this is pee cool. Hey, Rob, kid. How are you doing? Moths. So, this is outside. It looks too, um... What is it? Um, uh, Call Cthulhu-ish to me? That's gay. Oh! Can I open this? Huh. So there's an anteater. And the world's smallest hippopotamus. And the world's biggest taper. And the world's smallest harpy eagle. And an accurately sized jaguar and our leopard and a grizzly bear. Oh. What? Oh. But. Oh. Alright. Well. Nope. There's only growling. Oh! So this just leads. So I could have totally fucking dealt without that huge white goddamn flash. Ooh, there's a door over here. things and knobs huh I can hear myself writing 
cool. Um. Oh. Did I miss something? I feel like I did. I don't know what though. So I'm gonna backtrack real quick. So I came from outside. Is this Magnus? Do you know me? No. Who are you? Where are my children? Trapped, Mandus. Far below us. The machine is fouled. It is breached. It is flooded. The bulkheads are down. The children are engaged. If you help me, I can help you release them. Restore the power, Mandus. Drain <coughs> the flooding and restart the great engines. Ah. Where should I go? I don't like the voice Hello? acting in this. Hello? So that's what I missed. Sorry about that, guys. So I guess I'm trying to save my kids. Oh, and now I'm like on the- oh, I'm on the other side of the gate. I came out over there, and that's where I had like the flashback of my kids being like blah 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 blah. Alright, anyway guys, um, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. And this leads into the Great Hall again. Oh, there's a fire! What? And I can't fucking pick it up. Cool. Oh, there's a note here. Okay. Oh, it's just a piece of music. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye!